All right, so the margins melted. Gonna turn down the heat a bit. Put more into that one. Don't need as much for eggs. Fill the hash brown one up. There we go. All right, throw the hash browns in. Don't have a flipper, so. <laughs> uh, guess just use two forks. I don't know. <laughs> All right, we'll figure something out. All right, so now I'm gonna crack the eggs. All right, so I cracked all six eggs. It didn't make too much of a mess, which is kind of impressive because usually I make a huge mess when I'm cracking eggs. And the hash browns are cooking. So next up, I'm gonna just pre-slice the, uh... actually, I could start cooking the bacon. I'll cook the, start cooking the bacon in the other pan. Throw that over there for now. And uh, so put these back in the freezer. Put bacon in this pan here. And, uh, oh yeah, gonna crack open the molasses, or the molasses, <laughs> still half asleep. They fait volar, pork and beans, crack those open. And put the eggs away for, t for the next time I, fin I'm gonna finish them off for the next time I do the Brady breakfast with a dagger twist. Sure, didn't forget any ingredients. Doesn't look like it. All right, so just gonna let these cook a little longer and uh, get uh, ready for the next step. As I was opening up my pork and beans, this stupid camera won't focus probably. I don't know why. There we go. As you can see, well, you can see a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. But these are expired. August 20, I don't know why it doesn't. <laughs> Look at this piece of crap. Absolute joke, it doesn't focus at all. I never noticed this before. It never really gave me any problems anyways. Maybe I'll just manually focus with my No, it's not even going to show. I'll take a picture of it. You'll have to believe me. Take my word for it. So it expired on August 29th, 2021. So hopefully they're still good. Let's check these out. I'd have to turn these. Been cooking for a while. No, they don't look okay still. Might throw some more uh, margin in there though. For the other side. Seems like it's all on that one side. There we go. The eggs are almost done. You turn them around again. But that one side needs to get done. This side here hasn't. This one here is almost ready to put bacon in. Actually, I can throw in bacon now. There, with the. Ch Chicken bacon. I wasn't sure if it was turkey. It doesn't have like the the good the good uh, fat that uh, the regular bacon does. So that's why I put the margarine in there just to help it cook. Look at that perfect four. That's what I wanted. So I'm just gonna have to split them up. And. These cook kind of weird too. Might have to add some more margarine just to be safe. You can hear the crackling already. They cook really weird too, like almost burn instead of cook. So that's why it's better to have more marg more butter slash margarine, the better. Oh, it's 
How's this one coming along? Very slow. Just that one side that needs to be done. So we got that one. This one should be flipped by now, I think. Yeah, that's pretty good for that one side. It's not going to be hard, hard, but oh yeah, that's really good cooking on that side. Who needs... Ah, jinxed it. This one really didn't cook as much. So you can see they're kind of flimsy. They're not uh, hard. They're just falling. Well, this one's falling apart. I don't know what it looks like it's cooked. They're not firm. They're very soft. I think that one's pretty much toast there. That's the best I can do. All right. So there. That. And I'll finish opening up the expired pork and beans. And then uh, get that into a pan. Not into a pan, but into a... What is this one down here? There's one here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, she left all the copper stuff. She didn't keep any of the copper pans or anything. That's all right. I don't mind the copper stuff. Alright, so we're gonna put the pork and beans in here. We got the pork and beans emptied out. Got them cooking now. So the eggs actually look like they're almost done. I might lower that down to low. I don't want them to burn while I'm waiting for the other stuff to cook. So, to check on the bacon now and see how they're doing. Well, I'm, I'm going to take these uh, hash browns out and put them on the plate. I don't think they're going to get any harder than what they are, but they're both crisp on both sides. I just checked them. And then I'm going to move the bacon into this bigger pan here. Hopefully, it'll cook a little better with that. It looks like the oil from the hash browns, and that might actually help it. So, I guess it's. I don't like how it's cooking in that one pan there, so I'm going to put them onto the plate now. Alright, so I got the hash browns out, made it all out of disaster. That fourth one there was in pretty rough shape. So I moved the uh, bacon into the bigger one here, so hopefully it'll cook a little quicker. The lid is too small for that one, but do the best we can. This looks pretty good. I think the eggs are done. Oh, pork and beans are definitely done. I haven't checked, I forgot to check those. Turn those down, right rear. Put it on low. At least it didn't stick to the pan, so that's good. So it looks like pretty much everything is done. Just gotta cut up the cheese. And then it'll be, it'll be good to go. Move all this stuff out of the way. is here, make some screen, I'll just slice up the whole thing. I think the bacon is good. Um, I might be doing the order wrong, like I said, I forgot to check this morning, but uh, I'm sure this is the way it goes. Somewhat anyways, so put the bacon on there. Is that the bacon that goes on the cheese or the pork and beans? Either or, it'll melt. That one didn't separate. <laughs> it doesn't want to come off. There we go. And the last one. Perfect. All right. Then I'm going to throw in, I don't have toast. Which sucks, I love to dip my toast in the yolk. But, so right now I'm gonna put the eggs on top. So let's gonna do that next. All right, so that came off nice and clean. So next is going to be the pork and beans. Pour that on there. Alright, almost got all of it out of there, which is good. First, usually I have to dig it out. That's what I like about these uh, 
copper pots. They're pretty pretty good about uh, not sticking that and stuff stuck on there. Alright, so for Brady he uses Frank's Red Hot. I'm not a big fan, but I'll still use it and just drench it with ketchup after. There, get a little Frank's for for a little spice. And then the go-to ketchup to for the for the color because you can't really see the Frank's Red Hot. The ketchup shows up a lot better for, for photos and stuff. So, oh, how, how I've missed having this breakfast. It is one of my favorites. It's a toss up between this and German pancakes is my favorite now. So there it is. Now I am ready to devour it. Do the cleaning after.